I'll share my world with you. You're gonna lose your time. You're gonna waste your time. I'll be honest, baby. I wish you could see. You're gonna lose your time. You're gonna waste your time. I'll be honest, baby. I wish you could see. You're gonna lose your time. You're gonna waste your time. I'll be honest, baby. Hello Capricorn, so this is your weekly reading. I'm going to start with a tarot. So let's see what's going on. Okay, so universe, what's gonna be the current energy between Capricorn, some person that's on Capricorn mind for this week? So you guys got the King of Swords. I feel like you guys are being caught, like, not, I wanna say cold, but you guys are detaching from something that was draining you. That was not the best for you, okay? So you guys were dealing with Aquarius, a fellow Capricorn. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind. Um, what would this person would like to say to Capricorn this week? Page of Cups. So this person would like to apologize to you, but their apology is not sincere. Page of Cups, it's something that is not genuine, okay? Because what he's offering is like basically a fishy water, <laughs> okay? So that's nothing, basically. Um, so they would like to apologize to you, but it's not really sincere. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind, um, this week, what would this person keep hidden from Capricorn? Five of Cups. This person do miss you, okay? Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind this week, how will this person feel? Death in reverse. They don't want this to be over, okay? They can't get over you. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind this week, what is this person true feelings for Capricorn? Seven of Wands, you want to fight for this? This could have been someone who was very lazy before. They were trying to see what were you allowing, you know. Let's see what else I'm getting. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind this week, what intention does this person have with Capricorn? Four of Cups, they want you to accept their offer even though they, they know that you're going to reject that. Universe, the person that will be on Capricorn mind this week, what action will this person take with Capricorn? Three of Cups trying to reconnect with you. Then I got the Nine of Pentacles, independent energy. So yeah, this is what I'm getting. This is someone who wants to have a kick and even to you. They want you, but they're not really, they're not willing to do what's necessary to keep this connection going, okay? Um, I feel like they are in their feelings, um, but I feel like you guys can see right through them with that king of swords being here as a current energy like you're not seeing things with rose colored glasses you're seeing exactly who they are okay you're seeing the connection exactly for what it is um this person's sign could be scorpio here could be a pisces aquarius i was getting fellow capricorn as well so let's see let's see what else i'm getting Also, I will be doing the all signs as well. It should be like towards the second third of this video. So let's start here. Let's look here. Okay, Unified, give me a two cards. Spread the messages so you have for Capricorns this week. Unified, give me one more card. What message do you have for Capricorns this week? Universe, we have two cards, but we must have just see how for cap points this week. Okay, so general energy is chair empty. Someone is leaving your life. Yeah, you are letting this person go. Then there's acts, forces working against you, and then there's marriage. Okay, this person could have been connected to someone else. They could have tried to make you be that third person. Okay, then there is roses in the um, that's a rose in there. Rose romance is in the air, and then there is wishbone. A wish is granted. Then there is lily spiritual love. Ooh, I see. I see you manifesting someone that's actually aligned to you. Um, this person, Venus sign or Moon sign, might be in Capricorn. Um, I see you on to better. So yeah, don't get too caught up with this past person. <laughs> okay, you on to better. So let's look. 
this look here. Hey, you guys, we have three cards, but I don't know what to just you have for Capricorn this week. Okay, so there is time for a nap, serendipity, and then all that glitters. Jenna energy is a new life, beautiful. So what Jenna say is like, don't give up on love. Some of you guys have Libra in your chart, because Libra, it was similar message on that. Um, but don't give up. Don't give up on love. I do see love is going to be presenting itself. Um, I'm trying to say just be open to it. Be open to new love, new connections, okay? New relationships, good, healthy relationships, okay? Because some of you guys probably want to take a break from love. But I'm trying to say there's better options here, okay, now. So be open to that. Okay, let's look here. Universe, give me a four card spread. What messages, universe, what messages do you have for Capricorn to see? So there is Taurus in reverse, so it could be Scorpio. Then there is Justice, Virgo. Um, don't focus on monetary issues, focus on spirit. Then we got the Emperor and then the Codependency, okay? The person that you let you leaving, they might be a codependent person, okay? Also, I do see them not doing too well financially. Okay, probably that's another excuse that they're going to use of why they still connected to so-and-so. Then I got Virgo and Justice. I do see some karma that's going to come back to them during this season, September, and um, and Virgo season, Libra season. Universe, cover Virgo and Justice. Virgo, clarify. Yeah, it's Virgo. Universe, cover Virgo and Justice. Magician. Universe, clarify Magician. Judgment. I do see karma is going to come at them, but it's going to be coming in a sense of finances, probably because they value their fi finances more or material things over people. Okay, let me see the emperor. Universe clarify emperor. Universe clarify emperor. Rest and rejuvenate. Universe clarify rest and rejuvenate. A lot of you guys want to take a break from love. That's what's showing. You are beginning to realize who you are single and stay focused on why you started. Yeah, some of you guys want to take a break from love, but I still see a new love coming your way who might be an Aries Taurus, okay, or a fellow Capricorn. This has potential. There's someone that's actually at your level, okay? But you just want to take a break. Okay. Let's look here. Okay, so you guys give me a three card spread. What messages do you have for capital points when it comes to their love life for this week? So there is reminder reverse, invisible. I feel like you don't want to feel a way that they made you feel before. And then I got movement. Then there is focus and cycles. Yeah, you are trying to not even think about this person at all. You're prioritizing you. Yeah, this is someone who hurt your heart before, break your heart, I mean, and you don't want to feel that way anymore. So when this person is trying to apologize, you just don't, like, when you see them, it, like, it trigger you. So you're just trying to, like, really avoid this person. Okay? Obedience. So that's what I'm getting here. Let's go to the Capra deck. Universe, give me a big card spread. What messages do you have for Capricorns this week? So there is Mature Man. So that could be the Emperor. Then there is Twin Labor. Yeah, you're not going to be focusing on love. You're going to be really focused on your work. But there's someone that's really into you. They're going to be asking you out soon. This could be someone that you work with or someone that you typically go. Like, for example, like if you work in an office, like there's a Starbucks in that same office, I mean, in that same building. That person probably worked in that same building as well. It's like somewhere that's routine, that's kind of work, that's where you're going to meet this person at. This person might be older than you. 
um, but they're very stable. I feel like they're similar energy, like it's giving me earth energy, okay? Very stable, grounded, okay? They're gonna be very generous and they're gonna be wise. Like their conversation is gonna be very mature and very wise, have a lot of wisdom, okay? So let's look at the romance angels and then we're gonna go, I mean the angel answers and then we're gonna go to all signs. Okay, so universe, give me a third card spread. What messages do you have for Capricorns this week? Universe, give me a third card spread. What messages do you have for Capricorns this week? Let go. It's in, it came out in reverse. No need to worry. And as to angels, yeah, I feel like we're trying to say like karma will catch up to this person, so you don't need to get caught up with them. I feel like what we're trying to say is more so processing your emotion. You don't need to feel like you need to avoid or you don't need to do that because we're trying to say like you are strong enough. You just need to process your emotions, okay? And then it's up to you. You know, karma is up to you. Compromise. I'm trying to say don't compromise. Take this as a lesson learned of no, not ex overextending yourself at all. Okay, so let's look at all signs. We're going to be starting with Aries. Okay, so universe is going on with Capricorn and Aries this week. So there is deep knowing. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Aries this week. Marriage. Oh, probably you felt that this person always was connected to someone else, but you just didn't got um, confirmation. Like you couldn't got like the the receipts to back it up. But you knew that this person was dealing with someone else. Then there's fair woman dealing with a relationship with a woman with blonde or gray or white hair. Also, you probably felt like some like whoever they were dealing with, that person was watching you. Okay, and they are. This woman could have been a Cancer or a water sign Pisces. So let's look at Taurus. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Taurus in September. I said September. Let's read this week. But I got milk and honey, mending a thinker. So there's a Taurus I want to reconnect with you. Okay. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Taurus this week. No place like home and poise. I feel like there is a Taurus that is trying to play cool, like they're not really bothered or faced by you, but that's not the case. They do have feelings, like really deep feelings, but they're not trying to show you that. Okay, Universe is going, what's going to happen with Capricorn and Taurus in September? There's Camel um, pres Preserve and you will overcome problems. Then there's Parrot, someone will gossip about all your secrets. And Rat, someone is working against you behind your back. Okay, so I feel like when you keep declining this towards the towards they're not gonna act. They're gonna try to be like an enemy towards you. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn towards this week. Kangaroo, unsettled times is a plan ahead. So this person's gonna act kind of like unbothered, like they're not really caught up with you. But like once they reach out to try to reconnect, you decline them. They're gonna be really petty. So let's look at Gemini. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Gemini in um, I keep saying September, in this week. So there's Unfinished Sympathy and Breathe. So the Gemini will be communicating with you probably this week about trying to hash things out. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Gemini in September. Happiness, great happiness, harp. This person is going to try to serenade you, okay? entice you to be back with them. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Gemini in September. Does pay attention to your work. This person is a distraction though. They're probably going to try to do something at work, like a great grand gesture at work. <laughs> Let's look at Cancer. Okay, Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Cancer this week. So there is Treasure Island. Some of you guys are going to have a casual relationship with a Cancer. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Cancer in September. So, basket recognition and reward for merit. Yeah, this person will be giving you a lot of attention. I feel like you're going to keep it low key though. But it's giving you like low key vibes though. <laughs> like, they're going to give you attention, but like you guys are going to not make it official. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Cancer 
it's a, um, for this week, I mean. Shark, take care or there'll be a loss of material wealth. Probably this person will have the purest intention, so um, pay attention to that. Let's look at Leo. Okay, universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Leo this week. So this came out in reverse between worlds and reverse. I feel like you are moving on from a Leo, but it might be difficult. Or this person is trying to move on from you, but they can't. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Leo in September. I mean, in this week. What's going to happen with Capricorn and Leo this week? Candle, you'll be shown the way. I do see you're going to be moving on finally, okay, from this person. Could have been a strong soul tie. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Leo in September. So there is younger woman dealing with a relationship with a young woman and enlightening. Control your anger or you'll be sorry. This is someone who frustrates you a lot. But also what I'm getting here, um, you are going to be connecting with someone very soon that is going to help you move on from this person, okay? I'm not saying this is a rebound person, but this is someone who's going to help you move on where you forget about the Leo. Let's look at Virgo. Okay. Universe this is going to happen with Capricorn and Virgo and to, um, for this week. Toys, so the Virgo is acting like they're not really phased by you. Universe is going on with Capricorn and Virgo this week. Mice, discord among friends or family. This person trying to be very calculated. They're trying to put you against others. Okay, universe is going on with Virgo and Capricorn. This week, rabbit, too much concern with sexual matters. This person um, don't have that much, hmm, a little contrary to the main message with the tarot. Because with the tarot showing like this person don't show their feelings for you, but they do have deep feelings. Here with the Virgo though, it's showing that they don't, they don't have deep feelings. Um, they just want to keep this connection less based and they try to manipulate. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. So let's look at... Um, Libra. Universe, what's going on with Capricorn and Libra? So you guys can see 444 a lot. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Libra this week. Round and round. Okay, yeah, this Libra. Like, you want to move on from them, but it's difficult. Or this person always keep coming back. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Libra this week. Scales keep your life in balance. That's ironic. <laughs> okay. So I feel like this person don't feel like themselves. They might have a codependent relationship with you. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Libra this week. Love. This person is still in love with you. So you might hear from them that they're still in love with you. Okay. Let's look at Scorpio. Universe. What's going to happen with Capricorn and Scorpio in September? Why? So the Scorpio want to know why you're not faced by them, why you don't really care about the situation anymore. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Scorpio in September. What's going to happen with Capricorn and Scorpio in September? Cloud temper problems. They also, if you abruptly break up with them, they want closure, but they still want to be with you. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Scorpio in September. What's going to happen with Capricorn and Scorpio in September? Coins, money will be coming to you. I feel like you guys are really focused on your money. You don't really care about this, Scorpio. That's what I'm getting here. Um, but they want to know why. <laughs> or you don't care about them anymore or at all. Um, universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Sagittarius in September. Time to go. You are moving on from a Sagittarius. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn and Sagittarius in September. What's going to happen with Capricorn and Sagittarius in September? April. Some of you guys have broken up with this person since April. Probably a Taurus or Aries was um, maybe move on from Sagittarius or that's them. Universe is going to happen with a Capricorn and Sagittarius in September. Table, hard work ahead. Yeah, I feel like you are moving on even though you know that it takes some time to heal. Let's look at, let's look at Capricorn, Capricorn. Okay, universe, what's going to happen with Capricorn, Capricorn in 
this week, soulmates. Okay. So if you're dealing with a fellow Capricorn, you guys really understand each other. You guys feel like you guys are in each other's soulmates, best friends. You know what's going to happen with Capricorn, Capricorn. November, you're going to be meeting with this person soon. You probably haven't met them yet. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn, Capricorn this week. The victory and some endeavor. Wow. So this could be platonic or business relationship or a love connection that's going to be happening. So watch out for, watch out, but um, be open to a fellow Capricorn. That might work. So you might meet them in November. Let's look at Aquarius. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn Aquarius this week. Serendipity. So with Aquarius, let's see. Universe is going to happen with Capricorn Aquarius this week. Flag. Do not do not be tempted to lower your standards. Okay, so this is someone that you guys have chemistry with, instant chemistry, but there is fact. Like you guys don't have the same moral codes, and also you guys don't have the same wants and needs. Okay, probably right now you are wanting a relationship. This person don't. Okay, so they're trying to say don't don't bend over backwards for someone okay just keep them platonic or just keep it very casual make sure you know your attachment style and don't get attached to them basically universe or don't deal with them at all if they don't want the same thing with um that you want universe what's going to happen with the capricorn of course in september dog barking advice from a friend yep they're trying to say listen to close people around you because they're going to give you solid advice pertaining to this person let's look at pisces What's going to happen with Capricorn and Pisces this week? To be fair, a Pisces wants to balance things out with you. Probably a result with a Libra or something. Happened during Libra season last year. Okay. So there is scales. Look at that. <laughs> Libra reference. Keep your life in balance. So probably going to try to initiate reconciliation this week, but I do see them trying to stop by, trying to visit you during Libra season as well. Universe, what's going to happen with Capricorn and Pisces this week? Horse, short journey. This could just be a short term connection or a recon reconciliation that is short lived, okay? So that's the reading that I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you guys for watching my video and subscribing. If this video resonates, you can definitely book a personal reading with me at Queen Tarot at gmail.com.